today we're gonna do a really fun uh, cooking lesson. We're gonna do fried rice, uh, shrimp fried rice to be exact. Um, we're doing this one um, because most people have this stuff on hand um, and it's a really good filling meal. So uh, I have long grain white rice going in my rice cooker back here. I have my shrimp and then all my ingredients which we're gonna go through. First things first, we're gonna cook the shrimp. Just a little bit of olive oil and in go the shrimp. Uh, shrimp cook really quickly. I left the tails on, but you certainly don't have to. You can cut those off, no big deal. Um, it's just a presentation. Um, now, also, I'm not seasoning this shrimp. We're gonna season the whole dish, and so that's where the shrimp is gonna get its flavor from. I don't need to worry about that. And because we're gonna be using soy sauce, I certainly don't wanna salt these, um, as soy sauce is very salty on its own. So if you're cooking with soy sauce, check it, but you more than likely will not need to add any salt. Go ahead and just, after a minute on the first side, go ahead and flip. See, we get a color change. It's no longer that opaque, it's turning pink. This is great. Now, I, I avoided using fresh ginger and garlic here, because um, we're making this a pantry meal. So, just using stuff from my spice cabinet uh, and my freezer and the pantry, okay? So, we've got this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the sauce for the fried rice. So in goes the soy sauce. That was one cup. I've got, these are chili de arbol. They're substituting in for my Szechuan chilies. In those go. And then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna do two pinches of ginger, ground ginger, one pinch of cardamom, and a big pinch of black pepper. Nah, let me get two. Okay, and then stir this up. And that's gonna naturally reduce, guys. Then I'm gonna add in my vegetables. And like I said, from the freezer, these are mixed vegetables, uh, just green beans, a little corn, carrot. All right, so we got that working. Now, big part of the fried rice dish is that scrambled egg, right? So we're gonna do that last, but I'm gonna add a little rice wine vinegar to this. That's about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. And then the final ingredient, uh, which I need to grab, is sriracha. Can't go wrong here. I'm gonna add all right, so about a teaspoon. And stir that up. Now, everything's coated, that's cooked and done. I'm gonna make some room over here and I'm gonna cook this egg, okay? Boom. It's cooking in the sauce. That's perfect. Let's make that happen. Um, as it cooks, I'm just gonna move the egg around a little. And then leave it alone. Give it time to set, okay? 
And I know I said the sriracha was the last ingredient. Obviously, we are gonna finish this with some sesame oil, all right? And that's gonna be the thing that takes it over the top. See that egg boiling coming together, looking good. See, I've got the shrimp kind of on top of these veggies because what we want to avoid doing is overcooking this shrimp. You could almost make all of this and then cook your shrimp last. But I like to cook the shrimp in that sauce because it, it really makes them full of flavor, okay? Okay, now, now stir that egg in. We have finished cooking the rice which I'm just breaking up with a red-handled spatula. And I've got my heat on about medium now. And we're just gonna fold this all together to make our fried rice. And once this is all folded in, and see I'm, I'm flattening the rice out, that's helping to break it up without breaking the kernels. Okay, because we don't wanna do that. I mean, it's not the end of the world but we'd like to keep them together for presentation, which is important even when you're eating at home. First thing you eat with, guys, is your eyes. With this dish, I would say you can throw whatever, whatever you got in here, and that would be fine, okay? I know it's a fried rice, and there's, you think of like carrot and peas, etc. But we see fried rices all over the place. Um, in, in Thai food, they do like a pineapple fried rice, which is delicious. Um, so whatever vegetables you got, throw them in. Whatever protein, go ahead and toss that in. That's fine too. Um, the last step to finish this dish is just a light sprinkling of sesame oil. Um, and that's gonna finish the dish up for us, okay? So here, and then just fold in that sesame oil, and that is gonna be the end of the fried rice cooking. Well, um, we've finished the shrimp fried rice, um, and as you can see, I am still recovering uh, from the oil burns from when we did the brisket. Um, I think I'm gonna make it. Luckily, modeling wasn't my career path or I'd be in some trouble. Um, didn't have the goods. Uh, but we finished the shrimp fried rice. So here's that. Yeah, looks good. Um, as far as garnishes go, traditionally it's green onion. You could do a little sesame seed, toast those first, just in a skillet. Um, some people like it really hot. If, you, if that's you, uh, you could drizzle some sriracha on top. That'd be good too. Um, I think the important thing here is just eat it while it's hot. Maybe not that hot. Good, good heat, um, good flavor. Make sure um, that you remember to do your mise en place because this dish goes fast, okay? All right, see you guys next time.